everyone, Sue Sparkle, just giving you an update on how I'm going with uh, this canvas. Now this is African Glamour, beautiful, beautiful bright colours, 33 um, colours in this and um, it is just glorious to work on. Even though there's a lot of confetti, I don't mind it. Um, so we're just sort of uh, trying to get this um, done. I'm not rushing. Uh, there was no rush for this. Now this I've put in Mrs. Crochet and Coffee Coffee's event that she has on Instagram and Facebook. And it is hashtag POC for Black History. And um, she's running that event at the moment, started on the 1st of February. We were allowed to start our canvases, um, and I think I started this about three days before the event started. So um, take a look on Instagram, have a look at everybody's uh, pictures that they're putting up. I think she's offering some sort of uh, prize or prizes but you would have to um, read up about that I'm sure she'll tell you all of that so this is African Glamour it is a diamond art club and it's 56 by 76 and it's by Marjorie Sanat um, that is our artist and um, we have a number of ABs in this kit we have 131, 135 and 165. So they are in the green um, and a, a palo green and like a yellow. So uh, we do have three ABs. There's no need for me to add any more. It is uh, quite bright and brilliant in colour. So I'm just going to pull this down for you now. Um, this video won't be very long. Um, I've been doing a few videos this morning and I just thought I'd do a progress video on how this is looking. I'll push up these pieces of plastic. Uh, excuse the uh, messy washi tape. I'm just using up sort of bits and pieces what I've got here and I won't just leave that one there I haven't got to that stage yet so um, all the drills seem to be pretty well um, well they're pretty good actually the only problem I'm having probably is with um, a black three tins there seems to be quite a bit of rubbish um, in the three tens. They are um, misshapen. Uh, they have bits of flex of resin drills in with them. So you've got to be careful you don't pick those up with your diamond painting pen as well. Uh, but um, that is the only concern I do have. Uh, they could improve, I think, on their black uh, drills. Apart from that, it's all going really well. As you can see, there is a border um, right the way around, or a white border. And uh, with her arm coming out into that border, it's giving it that 3D look. So I'm just going to pull all this uh, plastic, excuse the noise, back down. Um, I'm not cutting it as I go because I tend to uh, lean on the canvas a little bit and it's just protect, protecting the uh, drills. There's a bit of, it looks like glue stuck up there which I'll get off in a minute. So um, yeah, let me know what you think, how it, how's it going and um, I'll pop that back up the other way. Usually hangs over there at the top or I turn it the other way around. I've done um, 
two sections high here working it from this position and then I turned it around the other way to come in two and then I'll go back the other way to come in two and then um, I might even start from the top um, or keep going sideways working on it this to there and that one to there um, just so um, I don't get too much of a crease in it at the top with the glass top on the table so there it is so there's your yellows down here um, yellow ABs they're all scattered in there there's some in here the greens are up in here so that nice bright bright green there I can see a drill that's upside down so I always do go back over my canvases and check them um, there's your pale yellow there uh, but yes yeah, stunning very beautiful so that is African glamour and until next time we'll see you all again so hopefully you will see um, another section either finished or I'll have the whole lot finished and then I'll do a review. Okay then, bye for now. Bye.